Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel, guys. If you have any of the following three vehicles, guys, Jeep Renegade, Jeep Compass, or Jeep Cherokee, guys, and you have too much pressure in your cooling system, the hose is under enormous amount of pressure, or you start pouring coolant, guys, after driving the car, we'll explain, guys, what are the top three reasons for that, guys. Too much pressure in your cooling system, guys. Now, this is a 2.4 multi-air engine, but it will work on other engines as well. The procedure will be about the same. All of them function about the same way. That same engine, guys, you know, Jeep engines, has, they have been used in Dodge, Chrysler, Fiat, multiple vehicles, guys, because that it's one corporation. We have the engine apart because we'll be having more than 100 videos on that engine and more than uh, 200 videos on every car we get at the shop, guys. Our mission is to save you as much money as we can. So please, guys, subscribe to the channel and like the video. Let's explain now what can cause too much pressure in your cooling system, guys, on your Jeep. So, here we go, guys. This is the engine being taken apart. Now, we're going to start, guys, okay, with the most obvious reason. Most obvious reason, and then we'll continue with the rest. Make sure you stay until the end, because yours could be one of those, guys. Most common reason, guys, is to be low on coolant. Okay, low on coolant. What that means, guys? means that the level of the coolant is too low in the engine and what will happen okay we remove the cylinder here this is your cylinder ball guys you have coolant here and if it's uh, not enough coolant to cool the engine that coolant will turn into uh, steam guys and that steam is going to build pressure in your cooling system enormous amount of pressure guys so that could be guys one of the reasons not enough coolant and what about second reason guys Okay, second most common reason, guys, is a thermostat stuck close. This is your thermostat, right here, on the cylinder head, usually. And this is your thermostat, guys, and if that thermostat is stuck close, what will happen? It will not allow coolant, uh, cool coolant to enter the engine, and as a result, guys, okay, your cylinder head and engine block will start overheating. Okay, or turn that coolant into steam again, and that could be another reason. But what about the third one, guys? Okay, third one. There is a fourth one, actually, too. I just thought of that could happen, but it's less, uh, less common. Number four, guys, it's failed head gasket. This is your head gasket. This is your cooling passages here, guys. And this is um, where your pistons are. You can see each of the pistons. Now, what happens now here? You can see how close the coolant passage is next to the piston, guys. If that head gasket fails, guys, okay, the compression from the piston is going to end up in the cooling system and that will pump pressure, guys. But usually when you turn the car off, if the leak is big, guys, a few minutes later, okay, when you touch the radiator hose, you will have, okay, you will have, guys, less, okay, uh, less pressure. And you can usually see that by removing the head gasket, you will be able to see, okay, the compressor blowing from here to the... Um, to the cooling chamber somewhere guys if you have a leak you will be able to notice it it may be even a little bit wore out so you can see how close it is so if the gasket fails that could happen and reason number four guys on that engine cracked cylinder head or cracked block if you have guys cracked block what will happen that compression will leak in the cooling system and the same thing will apply to the head and as a result guys okay you can build up quite a pressure in your cooling system so Hopefully guys the video will be helpful to any of you trying to figure this thing out. Thank you for watching guys. Please subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time.